Good morning everyone. Today we are on day 19 of 30 Days of Sketches with Christy's Beautiful Life. And I'll have links down below where you can go to everybody who is doing YouTube videos, um, the Facebook group that people just post their still shots, and also um, Christy's Beautiful Life YouTube channel. So um, today's sketch artist is Brandy Jo, and she has, um, on the left side, she has a, a large picture with the title underneath it, and it looks like a large Polaroid, and then there's a, it looks like there's another Polaroid underneath it, and then she's got a little bit of embellishments here and here. She's got a little paper clip here, I looked for one. I did not have my color. <laughs> so um, if I find something later, I don't know what else I could use, but just wasn't having any color that I could match. And then um, she's got six Polaroids on this side, and she's got little hearts up above them. She's got some um, more embellishments down here, and then she's got either one of these papers is torn where there's another paper down here. So mine's going to look very much like it except for I'm going to flip it because my sequence of events are going to be here and then my main picture is going to be here so I need to flip them over. Okay so I think this is such a perfect one and this one um, I just got these pictures the other day and I was so excited to get to use them. So this is the youngest grandbaby her name is Foster, and she's painting a pumpkin, and her mom's helping her paint a pumpkin. So I'm going to put these here, like this, because this is how it goes. <laughs> and then this is her after she got her, this is like after it dried, like maybe the next day. And it must have been nice outside because she's outside in her shorts and stuff. And I look at this and I just think of um, growing up in Wisconsin and how it could be, um, you know, snowing on Halloween. <laughs> okay, so I am going to put these here. Oh, and you see I've already put my title down because I thought I, I just would just get it over with and put it down there. <laughs> I had to make sure it would fit, so I thought I'll just go ahead and put it there. Okay, so I'm going to line these up here, and I will need about three-eighths of an inch, I think, on each side, or roughly. Maybe I can do a quarter inch on each side. Let's see if that works. So I'm going to do that. I'll pause, and I'll be right back. Oh, and this paper is um, American Crafts Bow Bunny, and I don't know if this is from the same paper pad. No, it's not. I think this was um, from Paper Studio, and I think I just bought, like, they were like all shades of this teal color. Okay. Oh, and I'm also going to be using this wood and it's called Vintage Wood by Memory Place, and this one is called Driftwood. And it looks like this on the other side. So I'm gonna be using those. Okay, I'm gonna put this aside now because I'm gonna do that torn part. And now these, um, I want them to meet up here. So I'm thinking that I'm going to start by just maybe tearing them here and I think I made a mark but I don't see it now. Okay, let me just make another because I don't want to go up so far because I did cut this and then I'd have and I really can't go up too far because of my pictures taken up the amount of room that they're taken up. have to make a darker line, I guess. Okay, so I cut the wood at two inches, so I can tear this about, you know, under that, like an inch and three quarters. 
So I think if I start like this, they'll at least match up. Well, maybe. <laughs> maybe I can't tear them. Okay, there we go. Okay, now I do want my, I do like to see my tear mark. So let me see if I can let go of it. And let me see if I can tear here. Do the same thing here. And because I would kind of like to tear them together. I seen Shanna, Shannon of, um, she's crafty tear them together and I would like to do that but still get my you know my tear going in the right direction so I need to kind of do it like this and so I think I can do that now that I got them started because I just wanted you know them to kind of look like they butt up next to each other And I don't want to go too much higher than this. It's all right if some comes down a little bit. I'm trying to do that. You know, sometimes you want to go a little bit messy and it's like you're making a straight line. <laughs> Like right now but I do not want to go up too much because I don't want to I want to have room for my own pictures okay that's pretty good there and I can always tear off like this little bit of extra I usually always end up with some like that oh and I think I said this was American Crafts Bow Bunny, but I don't remember the name of the um, thing, but I had the back of the paper that I'm actually using for dividers between in my color section. Okay, and then I want to do the same thing with this. Now, she just has one layer in there, but I thought, you know what, I would like to have a little bit more of this turquoise. And so I decided I'm going to tear that too. And I'd kind of like to do the same because I'd like to, to meet up in the middle. So I'm going to start here and then I can go ahead and do the same thing here. I think I'm tearing them the wrong way because there's words. Okay. Now which way is the words going here? Oh, they just got to go this way. <laughs> okay, I'm just going to tear that off there and get this lined up. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and tape this on first because I don't really need very much of this showing. I just want um, I just want some of it. So I'm going to see. I've got a little tear here, so I'm going to pull that off and right here where it's doing it too. Okay, I think the others look okay. And this one here, I don't have any white. I'm gonna give myself a little bit. Maybe, if I can grab a hold of it. Okay, hopefully that's not so much that it ends up showing. 
Well, I guess it wouldn't because my green's going to be there. Okay. And I am going to kind of rough my finger over it to curl it up a little. You know, it's all about the details. <laughs> and I'm going to do the same here, too. Yeah, this is definitely that paper from Hobby Lobby because it, it's a textured feel, which I thought that was really nice for Hobby Lobby because lots of their paper is super thin. But their pads are actually nicer than their single sheets in the printed papers. I wish they would do one with their woods because they had um, they had the eight and a half by eleven, but they didn't have the twelve by twelve. My friend got an eight and a half by eleven, but I never seen it when I was there. Okay, I'm almost done. Okay. Alrighty. Okay, so I'm just going to go ahead and take this down to and see how much I'm gonna run out of tape again. <laughs> it's gonna be one of those months when I use a whole lot of tape. Okay, I'm just putting that little bit like that is good right there. Okay, and then the next one. Okay, I just thought this would be fun. Um, I wanted something different since she had painted like turquoise on the pumpkin. And the and it's a baby one. I just thought, I'm going to make it a little shabby chic. Okay, oh, and I'm using those um, Minte. The Minte um, elements, they call them. From the Halloween six by eight book. I'm using them again. I've really been giving them using them a lot this month. I think I can stretch this. <laughs> my white's my white's always too big. I maybe need to cut it down. Okay, I'm going to put it on this side and maybe oh, cut it down. Yep, on both sides, it's like a smidgen. Okay, I went and trimmed that down a little bit. and I'm ready to put this on. Oh, and I grabbed a roll of tape in case I ran out. And I love these together. And, and I thought, I can make them look a little Halloween-like.
to make sure I'm at the top. Okay, I think it's good there. Isn't that beautiful? I just love it, love it, love it. This is a really cute sketch. And it was like so funny because she sent me the pictures and it's like, all right, I think I got just the right amount for some, one of my sketches I didn't have anything picked out for. I think I have three that I need to find something for. Okay, so to make them meet up, I'm going to tear this a little tiny bit. Okay, that's pretty good. Okay, I love this already. <laughs> love it. Okay. I have these, and I have my pictures taped down here. So, oh, and I need to put this over here and this over here. So I don't want to, well, I guess it doesn't matter. <laughs> it only matters when I get to putting it in the book. Right? Okay. So I'm going to put this right about here, I think. Okay, where's my invisible ruler? Here it is. Okay, well, I've got it centered. And I'd say... Yeah, that's good. <laughs> let's do that again. <laughs> okay, so um, let's see. On her sketch, she has this tilted towards the other one. So that's one thing that I, I want to make sure that I put that in the right direction. So let's see. the It tilts this way and has a little bit showing over here. So I want to do the same because I really like it. And and I have all the stuff to make it look the same. You know, sometimes you have to work with what you got and sometimes it all works perfectly. Okay. And I'm trying to get my brain to think <laughs> backwards or sideways. Okay, now she must have had a bigger piece underneath because it sticks out the top and out the bottom. Oh yeah, it kind of does. But mine doesn't stick out down here at all. So, I know I guess it's going to be like this. Okay. I love it. I don't know how I didn't end up with the same. Maybe I just got too much. I don't think it's probably going to matter. Oh, this piece must be bigger. It is bigger. Who knew? Did I grab the wrong one? I'll be right back. Okay. So, I just, I guess I cut it the wrong size. Because I thought I cut it the exact same size. So, it just um, fit perfectly. So, or maybe I recut this one. I don't know. I might have recut this one and made it bigger. Okay. So, I do have it here now. Me and my daughter were talking earlier, so now she just said, I'm on my way to a massage. Jealous. <laughs> okay. So I'm going to put this. I'm shooting for the middle. And I want it just tilted a little. Let me see. Where's my sketch again? Oh, it's over here. Yeah, it's got a little bit of tilt. So I think about there. Let's see, I've got three inches, well, three and a quarter, or three and three quarters inch. And over here, I would have three and a half. So I think if I just moved it this way just a little bit, and now I just need to remember where I'm at. 
Where am I? <laughs> okay, I'm gonna get that right there. And this right there. And I can barely see it, <laughs> but it's there. Okay. Probably have my head right in the, in the camera. Okay, and I'm just gonna. I don't even think I can see that one. Okay, there we go. Okay, so now for this side over here. I have one of these, one of these and some stars and a cat. I just love these embellishments. They are so cute. And you know, I've really been using them. <laughs> well, since I've been kind of, um, I know one of them I used Echo Park and then the or Cartabella, and then the next one I just, you know, made my own. Let's see, I want to put the cat over here, so I don't want to cover up spectacular. So I think maybe right here. I love this little cat. I love black cats and black and white cats are always my favorite. <laughs> I've had, let's see, I've had at least two black cats and three black and white cats. I did a book report one time on cats because you had to give like a detailed book report for something and it's like, huh, I'll go do cats. So they were they were kind of interesting and people used to um, think that they were evil so um, when for a long time they were like just killing cats and then when they started doing ship you know people started sh coming you know over here on ships or just traveling on ships, they, um, okay, I'm missing one, oh, no, here they are. They almost killed all the cats, but then when they found that, you know, the rats were, the ships were um, just ridden with rats, they decided that they better keep them alive, <laughs> so they quit killing cats. So if it wasn't for that, there might not be cats today. Can you imagine? Okay, I'm gonna put one here. Now they kind of curve up a little bit because I probably, when I was cutting them, I <laughs> probably did that. I'll tell you, um, usually whenever I'd get my mente, I would get these, all the little things cut out ahead and then, um, you know, I found I needed more, so I would buy the ex an extra sheet of embellishments, and then they started making these other special specialty booklets with the all the things to cut out in them, and then I buy bought those. It's like so, I almost need a um, I need to clone myself so I got another <laughs> cutter. <laughs> You suppose I could get my MC to cut? <laughs> I have, um, you know, I make jewelry, and um, sometimes I've gotten really busy and I've had them make earrings. So there you have it. <laughs> oh, and I did find a Tim Holtz. Um, it's like copper color, so I'm going to use that. Now she has hers kind of in the middle and I'm afraid that would run right into Foster's head. So let's see, where should I put it? I do want it to look like it's actually clipping them together. I think there is good. 
Okay, now I'm gonna slide this over here a little bit. Now my um, things are a lot closer together so I'm not gonna be putting um, a star like in every, um, whoops, where's my, I'm not gonna be putting a star in every spot where um, Brandy put it. I'm just gonna do my embellishing and then put some, add some little extra stars. Okay, so I had this little, well this one's a white haired witch. She's kind of more like my hair color, but um, um, she's so blonde that um, she almost looks like she doesn't have hair, but she's got a lot of hair. It's just super blonde. So I thought I'm going to use this one because the other little witch has um, brown hair. So I thought I would use this one for her. And if she wants to know if, why it has white hair, then that we can just say, oh, it's grandma. <laughs> And I think I'm going to put the orange pumpkin next to her. Yeah, I'm getting real close. You're losing that tape. Okay, I'm just going to put it right in front of her just a little bit. And then I'm going to put this black one over here. I really love the black pumpkins. I don't know why. I think just because the way they're done where they look like they have like little star holes in them or something. I think it's cute. Now real pumpkins. I really, really like the white ones. Now we grew white ones totally by accident because um, my husband had thrown the uh, pumpkins out in the garden, which I think he said, oh, what, what should I do with these rotted pumpkins? And I said, oh, I'll throw them in the garden. They'll be good fertilizer. <laughs> and then um, we ended up with all these pumpkins. Well, the very first one was, was white, but all the rest of them have turned yellow. Okay, let's see. I want a white one here and a black one. And then over here, I want a white one. Maybe I want a bigger one over here. And then I've got, I'm just going to do a spattering, maybe up here. I was going to put them on this side, but since I've got this, and then it goes here, and then we got that side some. So, just trying to sp spread the embellishments around. She had, um, her mom had sent me a picture where she had done um, little ghosts with her toe prints. <laughs> I said, you need to have pictures of the activity, her doing the activity. So we got lots of them. I was quite delighted. Oops. I gotta slide that one down, otherwise it'll be right off the edge. Okay, and then where's my glue lid? One night I forgot to put the lid on. Oh, it's like so hard trying to get that open the next day. <laughs> I think I ended up running hot water on it because I had heard somebody say they did that. Okay, and then I have my enamel dots. And what did I do with them? Oh, they're hiding here. So I've got orange, purple, and black because I like a little purple every time. Now this, I do have some a little bit of pink. 
and then I have these orange and I'm going to try to use up some of these. Oh, and I do have these gray too. I think I would like to use the black though. So I'm going to just kind of spread them. Try to get an assortment of colors. Definitely looks like I need another black one up here and maybe another one up here. And then how about some of these orange? Okay, sometimes I can't get them off when I'm right over the tape. But I have to say, I really like them where I have them clustered together by their color. So I'm looking forward to mixing my new ones in. Okay, let's see. Where do, I got an orange one here. I think I would like to have an orange one over here. Oh, but I don't think I want the same size. I think I'm going to put one of those there. And then put a little orange one here. And I'll put one of these up here by the stars. Okay. And what did I do with the purple? Oh, in front of me. Okay, I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, I like that there. It's stuck on me. Okay. Now I've got to Okay, that gives me an odd number up there, but I don't have an odd number over here. So I'll have to see if I can work that out. Seems like I'm getting them all even numbers now. <laughs> okay, I guess they're just going to be even numbered today. Unless I pull out another color. Okay, I've got one more purple one I can add somewhere. Where does it look like it needs it the worst? Or the most, I should say. I really want to put it there, but that one looks like it already has enough. Actually, they all look like they have enough. Let's see. We got. Oh, that's the only place that's got an odd number. Okay. I think I'm going to stick it over here. Okay. So that's it for today. And I'd like to thank Brandy for this cute sketch it worked perfectly for the pictures I got I just love it so fun it was so fun doing this non-traditional paper so remember to check out everybody else that you have time for I have to say that because I haven't <laughs> looked at anybody's so thank you for joining me I will help close this at the end and I, oh and immediately following this I will have my scraps to embellishment so I will see you then. Have a wonderful and blessed day. Bye.